the Prisma Access integration with Microsoft Defender for cloud applications, which is Microsoft's CASP offering, will allow customers to automatically sync unsanctioned applications and block them in line using Prisma Access. This will enable our customers to forward Prisma Access logs to Microsoft Defender for cloud applications, gain shadow IT visibility and cloud application usage and provide closed loop remediation for unsanctioned applications. This single click integration provides a seamless way for the SaaS admin to ingest all the unsanctioned applications from Microsoft Defender for cloud applications without the admin having to manage different consoles or products. Also, the admin can now view the list of unsanctioned applications in the custom URL list at any time. The custom URL category can be used by both web security and non-web security policies. So let's dive into the demo. To enable this functionality, reach out to your Palo Alto Network's account representative or partner who will submit a request. In Strata Cloud Manager, select Manage, Configuration, NGFW and Prisma Access. Set the configuration scope to Global and select Global Settings, SaaS Application Endpoints. Navigate to the MS Defender for Cloud Application. Click on the Settings icon to edit the Microsoft Defender for Cloud App Settings. The integration requires the following values to be configured. The API Endpoint, Tenant ID, Client ID, and Client Secret. On registering the application for API, the Client ID and Secret are generated. The Tenant ID and API URL can be fetched from Microsoft Defender Portal under Settings Cloud Applications App Token. These details are used in the integration settings page. After entering the details, click on the Check Connectivity button to check the credentials. These credentials can be saved only if the connection is a success. After clicking on Save, the applications marked unsanctioned in the Microsoft Defender for Cloud application are fetched by the integration and a custom URL category and a security policy gets created automatically. As you can see, there is one web security rule and one non-web security rule that gets created blocking access to the list of unsanctioned application domains. Both these rules are disabled by default, allowing the admin to review before pushing the config to the firewall. Let us now enable the blocked unsanctioned MS Defender app's security rule created by the integration and push it to the firewall. The soap.com is seen in the list of unsanctioned domains pulled by the integration. When a user now tries to access soap.com, the access to the domain is blocked due to the security rule created by the integration. With this, the integration is complete. This integration shows how easily and effectively Prisma Access is able to block applications deemed unsanctioned on the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Applications dashboard. Thank you.